Sports season is now officially upon us with the announcement this morning of the BAFTA nominations from their headquarters in Piccadilly, central London. Leading the field with eight nominations apiece are Avatar, The Hurt Locker and Britain's and Education. Next is District 9 with seven nominations, while bringing up the rear with six apiece is Up in the Air and Quentin Tarantino's Inglorious Bastards. In the British field we have Fish Tank and Education, Nowhere Boy, Moon and In the Loop. Now, predicting who's going to win can always be a tricky business, but that's why I'm here. Let's take a look at the best film category, which includes Avatar and Education, The Hurt Locker, Precious and Up in the Air. Now, I reckon this is going to be a straight fight between Catherine Bigelow's Hurt Locker and James Cameron's Avatar. This pair used to be married, of course, which uh, we should make for an interesting evening at the event itself. But, but will BAFTA members really award the big prize to a science fiction film, which a lot of people look down on? I'm not convinced, but the film did win the same prize in the Gold. Golden Globes recently, so I reckon Cameron should be cautiously optimistic. In the British film category, the smart money seems to be on an education. This is the story of a 60s schoolgirl who's seduced by a dashing rascal. For my money, however, Andrea Arnold's follow-up to Red Road, called Fish Tank, deserves to win. It's exceptional. Best Director category, Cameron and Bigelow will again be fighting out and they'll be joined by Neil Blomkamp for District 9, Lone Scherfig for An Education and Quentin Tarantino for Inglorious Bastards. I say this should be a slam dunk for Cameron. For leading actor, we've got Bridges in Crazy Heart, the touching tale of an ageing country and western singer. He's joined by George Clooney for the comedy Up in the Air, Jeremy Renner for The Hurt Locker, and two Brits in the shape of Colin Firth, A Serious Man, and Andy Serkis, the Ian Jury biopics. Leading actress battle is between Kerry Mulligan, who's also nominated in the Rising Star category for An Education, Meryl Streep for Julie and Julia, Sir Royce Ronan for The Lovely Bones, Gabori Sidibe for Precious, and Audrey Tortu for Coco Before. Chanel. It's a tough call, but Street did give a great performance, even by her standards. The supporting actress is much easier to predict. It'll be US comedian Monique for Precious. But not least is the animated film category. This is a fight between three movies. That's Coraline, Wes Anderson's Fantastic Mr. Fox, and Up from Pixar Studios. These are three great movies, which suggest a close race, but Up should just about edge ahead. Well, that's it for me. The event itself will be held on the February the 21st at the Royal Opera House in Covent Garden. It'll be an exciting evening and it'll give us all the chance to see just how right or probably how wrong I've been.